Welcome. We have here the sketch organized solve method for buoyancy during our fluid segment. This is a very interesting segment because we're going to have a lot of different objects with similar nomenclature, similar symbols, and or right, the same symbols. So it's very important to be very meticulous with your notation, subscripts, things like that. So we're going to start by making sure that we're very, very clear on this. We want to draw our object, which we're going to label with O. in our fluid, which we're going to label with F. And everything that you can to do, we want to label as much as we can. Including, we want to label depth dimensions pressures, and densities. Once we have all of that written, we can then draw a free body diagram for the object. In our organized step, Last time we get to say it this semester is least, we are going to start with Newton's second law. That our acceleration is the force and the sum of the forces over the mass. So just a reminder for this that our force of buoyancy is equal to the pressure of air plus the density of the fluid, F, times G times D, all times the area. Our force of gravity, we can write as mass times gravity, but now we can write this as the density of the object times the volume of the object which we can then write as the density of the object times the height of the object times the area in order to cancel things out a little bit easier. If we have just a general force from air, right, it's the density of air, sorry, the pressure of air times the area. And whatever acceleration constraints that we're given, oftentimes we're going to say that the object is Right, not going to be moving. So in our solve, we are going to then plug in all forces into our second law equation. and then cancel what we can and solve. Remember that we can write any sort of mass as the density of the object times the height of the object times its area in case we want to cancel top and bottom. And this is oftentimes just the start of the problem, but we have a whole galaxy of problems that we can use. So we want to use these results to solve the rest of the problem. And we're finally back to where things can kind of be reasoned out a little bit. So we want to check if it makes sense. <laughs> 